It is Thread Up Thursday, and today, not only do I have a rescue box unboxing for you of a men's designer box, but I'm also bringing you first a designer handbag sale. Now, most of these are actually out of my personal closet that I need to just move on with because I have accumulated too many bags. So I am going to show you what I've got and give you a great price. If you're interested in any of those items or any of the items that are in the designer box that I'm going to unbox, make sure to email me at stinaresells at gmail.com and um, I can sell to you directly. Okay, so the first item that I have is a wallet by Love Machino that I purchased for myself. It is still new with the tags and it is a zippered wallet. It's in a really pretty camel leather, and it's got this really pretty gold tone hardware. You can see the Love Machino there. Zip around, the whole back has this pattern on it with these gold tone studs. You can see the card and all the inserts in here. I purchased this firsthand for myself and then never used it, because this happens to me all the time. <laughs> Um, there, I've had this for a while and for, I guess from storage, I have a little boo-boo here. So on the corner, the leather is torn here and then there is another little spot I noticed right here on this corner from where, and I did not keep it in a dust cover. So that's my bad. I think I purchased this for about $150, maybe closer to 200. And so I am going to let go of this one for anyone that's interested for $50. Okay, next item. Also from my personal closet, we have a Kate Spade bag. Now, I actually didn't know that I still had this. <laughs> we moved like five or six years ago and I found a random box that said miscellaneous and it had a ton of my stuff in it. So this has been in storage for a while. Um, it is overall in great condition. However, from whatever happened in storage, there are some transfer marks down here with like a yellowish spot. And then there's one here and on the back, there are some here. Now I've tried with a magic eraser to get these off because this is a like um, a coated canvas type material. It's very durable, but they did not come off. So it is permanently stained in those areas. Now this part might not be that big of a deal because you would probably be carrying it like this, but there is this yellow transfer one toward the bottom. This is a tote style. There's the inside. It is a little stained on the inside, like here, and I haven't tried to clean that. It's got a zippered pocket here, and then a slip pocket on this side. So if anyone wants to try to rehab this or even carry it as is, I'm willing to do this one for $10. Okay. This one was is not for my personal collection. This is one I got in a thread up handbag box. This is another Kate Spade with the pebbled leather. It is gorgeous. It's got this really beautiful tassel pull here. And then inside the bag, you have that really pretty striped fabric. There is a stain down here toward the bottom and then some sort of white stain over the inside. I have not pulled it inside out to try to clean it. Um, so I'm not sure if you can get that out or not. There are two slip pockets here and then you have the zipper pocket here. The leather honestly is in great condition. The only thing that I could find wrong with this bag is the edging right here needs to be reskilled. So that is the only problem that I can see with it. Um, if anyone is interested in doing this one, 
I will sell this one for $30. Next up, back to my closet. <laughs> Many of you know I am a Henry Bendel collector and I have just now added another bag to my collection. So I feel like when I take in a new bag, I need to release a bag, even though I do collect them. So I am going to be selling this one. This is the Centennial Stripe. Uh, it has leather corners, the leather flap on the top, and then the strap. The problem with these bags in general is that this um, kind of like nylon gets really dirty, but this one is honestly in really good shape. The bag is in great condition. You can see it's very clean. The leather's in good shape. The only kind of flaws with this one is there is some wear to the hardware. You can see the corner there some gold tone loss, and then here on the closure. And the way this one works is you do that. You can see, and it's got this really pretty silky um, purple interior. It has a zipper pocket here with the Henry Bendel logo and a little bow, it's so sweet. And then a slip pocket right below that. But the interior of this bag is also in impeccable condition. And these, because they are collector's items, do go for a decent amount. This one I'm going to let go of for $100. Next, y'all are going to think I'm crazy for doing this, but I am. I have a Gucci bag. I am the primary owner of this bag. I bought it new. And this is, I didn't even like brush these off before I brought them out. I just pulled them out of my closet. Uh, this is a Gucci hobo bag. The bottom of this bag is like a canvas. And then this top part is a leather. And then you have the Gucci seal here along with the strap. All of the hardware is marked Gucci. Again, I bought this firsthand, so I do know it is authentic. Okay, there's the back. I have literally carried this three times since I have owned it. And I've owned it probably 10 years. I'll have to look at my receipt on the exact date of when I bought this, but it's been a minute. The interior is in great shape. It's got kind of their horse bit symbol and pinks and then you have your Gucci tag here like that and there's the zippered pocket and there's a small slip pocket on this side that's really small for like when cell phones were small <laughs> that's how long I've had this and only used it like I said I think three times which is why I'm passing it on um, I will let go of this for $300 if anyone is interested, and I will include the dust bag that it came in. Okay, last but not least, I have an Alice and Olivia black duffel that's got little white daisies on it. Um, I do use this when I travel, like on an overnight. But I am getting a new one, <laughs> so I want to pass this one on. Um, it's got slip pockets on each corner, so you can tuck little things in there. It, this is in great condition, even though I've used it. You can see the bottom. And then the inside. You see the Alice and Olivia. There's a zipper pocket here. And then the zip pull has a little logo just like that if anyone is interested in this one I will let this one go for $50 so anyways let me know if there are any bags that you guys are interested in purchasing just send me an email like I said to Stina resells at gmail.com and now it's time for the unboxing I have a men's designer box today I'm gonna move it on the side this time 
since I moved the bags over there. And I don't know what happened with this um, box, but it got like relabeled and I don't know. I think it has an adventure that it can't tell us about. <laughs> so um, it took a while to get to me. This one I ordered, I think early June. Let's see. Yeah, June the 6th. And for those of you who are not familiar with the men's box, men's designer box, it contains four items for $140 plus tax. And if you were to order one now, plus shipping. Um, this one I got without shipping. I have been enjoying these boxes. And this weekend, I am going to do a recap on two men's boxes that I opened in the fall and let you know, let you guys know what kind of profit I made on that. So make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to so go in and subscribe. That way you're notified of any upcoming videos. I do unboxings and what sold on this channel. And I've started doing some rehab tutorials on um, designer items that I'm rehabbing to resell or to send into the real world. Okay, I already see something very interesting off the top, which I'm hoping my kid isn't going to try to take. Let's hope it's not in his size. We've got a little peek off the top there. And it looks like a machino. Yes, we have a machino tee that has SpongeBob on it. <laughs> um, let's see, so it says machino couture, Milan. Um, let's see if we can find this size. Okay, this will not fit my child. Um, this is in an extra, extra small, although I would say that this looks more like a small or a medium, honestly, but the, the tag says extra, extra small. It's in great condition. I would have maybe even mistaken this for new, but it doesn't have the tags on it. So I'll have to comp this out, but I bet that that will do well. Okay, next. Looks like we have some sort of coat. I love getting jackets and coats in the designer boxes. And I especially love when they're Burberry. Okay, so we have the full Burberry here with the blue label. And we have that signature plaid print on the inside and this looks like some sort of trench, like a short black trench. Let me see if I can find the size quickly. I do have a, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I do have a Burberry trench that I'm rehabbing to send into the real real and I haven't finished. I'm almost done with it and I haven't quite finished it yet. And I thought, oh, I'll just wait till closer to the fall. But you guys, it's almost August. So even though it's not going to feel like fall here, it is almost fall. I don't see the size right off the jump here, so I'm going to have to search around for it. But overall, looks like it's in super great condition. So that is awesome. Okay, let me give you all another look. There's one peeking out of the corner that I don't know what I'm super thrilled about, but okay. We've got a pair of plaid pants. Look at those. So wild. I love it. Okay. These are, okay. I have actually gotten this brand before in a designer box and I can't pronounce it, pronounce it, but Com de Garcons, I don't know. I can't say it there and I got a pair of shoes by them and sent it into the real real and those are listed close to $300 for sale and have actually quite a few likes on them so I'll have to price out these pants and see what these go for they do they're in excellent shape they feel like um they feel like wool let's see yeah 100% wool that is awesome one thing that I do love about the designer box for the men's over the women's is the items are in better condition. So even though your cost of goods is higher, if you do sell 
especially through the real reel, it's easy to just take it and send it off to them because usually you don't have to do anything to rehab the items. Um, last item is a pair of shorts, khaki shorts. These apparently have been authenticated. Uh, they are lightweight, almost like um, a golf or dry fit or something material. They are Michael Kors, and Fred Up does consider her the full Michael Kors a designer brand. Um, it doesn't resell as much as some of the other brands, and this is in a 40. And we got those. They're in great shape. Let's see if it says what the material is on here real quickly. And they still have the buttons sewn in on the tag. Yeah, these are 94% nylon and six elastane. So yeah, like a super lightweight, almost active wear type short, but by the full Michael Kors. So overall, I thought that this was a really good men's box. I am hoping that these comp out, comp out well because I know that that brand can do well. And then the Burberry jacket looks like it's in great shape. So that is awesome. And then I'm really excited to comp out this Machino SpongeBob shirt. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Um, it, like I said, if you're interested in any of the handbags or the items in the men's box, just reach out to me and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I will be back this weekend with a recap of a men's box that I did in the fall so you can see how much profit I made because these are one of the most expensive boxes. The women's designer box is the same price, but you get seven items. It's a little bit bigger of a risk with the men's because you only get four for the same price. Anyways, I will see you guys then. Bye, y'all.